Hello and good out of morning. Hello, good out of morning. Welcome to the Animation Breakfast Club with your with your hosts, us. Um, you hear us okay? <laughs> Pablo says, Jacques Gusto. Here we can observe the swiftest avius in its natural state of chaos. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Are you try? Are you just try? Ah! Uh? This is chaos. This this is chaos. This is breakfast. Good morning, everyone. How was your Tuesday? Welcome to Wednesday. Well, welcome to... Is it really? Yeah. Oh, no. I like sitting on the table. I like rising up into the air with my toast by accident. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make more emotions for, for us. Maybe, maybe I'll do that today. I never know what I'm going to do. I don't plan it. I just wake up. Hello, everyone. In the morning, I wake up. I wake up. Whoa. Whoa. I sing a little song for you. Whoa. Every day that I wake up. Ah, oh. oh, I didn't get rid of the toast. I really wish it would stick to my head. But I tr I tried giving her heads colliders and it's a bad it's a bad it's a bad idea. It's bad. Uh, maybe I can make them triggers instead. No so if it hits the trigger, it sticks. <laughs> oh wow, Fotty! Thank you so much for the gifted sub. I'm behind Fat Man Eggman. Fotty, thanks a million. M that said you gotta go full VTuber, so it'll recognize a laugh with webcam inputs and stuff. We'd love to, but we did look into the software and it's like super expensive to get. Also, to get the, the webcam stuff where it recognizes your face is like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of euros. Yeah, so I can put it on a button press. Yeah. So yeah, you know what I said? The day is good. I made progress on a 3D model of materials. That's awesome. Congrats. I'm back to normal. So what are you up to today, Swifty? Um, I'm doing more Girl in the Glen. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Pretty darn. Pretty dope. Um, I could only do it for like an hour and a half though, then I have to go. Because okay. we're already starting late. What? Seems fair. I think you've got NDI on already, so. Yeah, I do. Over we go. <laughs> you need to be cheapest when you can just create a video game. Heck yeah. But yeah, Pablo says, my suggest bottom eyelids for Swifty Bird. Is it okay to un... Yeah. I think it's it's looking at Glim now. Okay. They're not wearing mocap suits. Are you sure? Thank when you guys. <laughs> It'd be so cool if I could like pick up the chat window and just be like, get out. <laughs> throw them away. Yeah, throw it. You're like the trench ball. From Matilda. Yeah. The ideal school is one in which there are no children. <laughs> like, imagine I could pick up individual sentences here and be like, huh, and then throw Oh, them. that would be amazing. That would be like very intense amounts of work for very little payoff though. <laughs> yeah. What I would need to do is build my own chat client, which I don't really I I don't you really want to like, do. There are so many other things that you could be doing. You know, maybe that's the cherry on top rather than part of the actual cake. Whoa. It's low. Blow, blow, boy. 
Thank it's you for Lobo the follow. Lobo Boy. Hey, Thank Lobo you. Lobo Boy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to your from your favorite stream with us, Dog and oh Swift, gosh, on I the Animation Breakfast Club. That. Hey, is that not your intention to become everyone's new favorite stream? Nope. That's just my intention. Yeah. Oh. Well, will you help me toward my goal? Of course I will. But I wish you would stop saying. <laughs> what bothers you about it? It's just so, presum so presumptuous. Do you know it's tongue in cheek though, right? I do. Fox I'm Andy. complicit. <laughs> welcome to welcome to your new favorite stream with us, Dog and Swift. At no. Your breakfast club. <laughs> ah! Yeah, what are you going to be doing today, Mike? I'm going to build us a ship. You're building us a ship? Don't we already have one? Um. What do you mean the one that we're actually on? Yeah. Cool. Wait, what? Wait, wait. I thought wait. you meant the raid ship. Oh, no, no, no. The one, our, our airship. The good ship raider. The good, what, yeah, well, we need to name it, don't we? No, it's going to be named whatever the person who raids is called. No, 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 not the raid ship. Our ship. We need to name our ship. It's the SS Adventure. SS Adventure. Sad Adventure. Sad. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you like our avatars? Yeah, thank you. They're, Thanks very much. They're uh, custom made, um, uh, built and built and animated by a group of friends. I I modeled the, them. Um, the rig by Kawa tunes, uh, some animations from Jordan, and then the 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 actual movements of us talking and stuff as I'm doing now are controlled by a gamepad. So I'm just wiggling a thumbstick around. Yeah, it's exactly that's exactly it. It is a game. It's uh, built in Unity. Unity is above me. Unity above me. NDI below. Here I am. Streaming artwork with you. And and you at home, you at home can interact with the environment through the uh, channel point redemption reward thingies. Or just the chat. You can type exclamation point dab and it'll make... It'll make me dab. It'll make a dog bear dab. You want me to make it you dab at the same time, like double dab? Well, you can make me dab. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's okay. I'm good. <laughs> I like having it on my own command. All right. I think I think this one's wave. Yeah, I can I can wave. So we just add in little custom custom anims for the for the for the puppets. Yeah, so Mike's still like working on it and building it, which is what we spend the morning streams doing a lot of the time. Is I'll work on something and Mike will work on the overlay. Yeah, just until it's done. I don't I don't know when it'll be yeah, done. Yeah, who knows when that will be. When but we get I, bored of playing with it, I guess. Yeah. When it feels it's in a good spot. Yeah. I literally and spiritually live in unity. <laughs> in unity with the whole of mankind. So because it's a because it's a game engine and stuff, all the objects are are interactable so I can pick up India's avatar and throw her I can run and jump around da, 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 da. I might set it so that I can just if I'm not pressing it uh, direct if I'm not running then I don't throw so I can just pop you down here otherwise I throw you the whole time <laughs> yo hello yo no take this motherfucker He's so violent. <laughs> <laughs> I have such a dad run. Oh, here I come. Oh, oh, oh. You can thank Jordan for that. I think I left the oven on. <laughs> come on, lads. <laughs> 
I mean, Jordan, Jordan animated you like that. He, he, he probably thought you're an old soul. I'm going to make the bombs pick up a ball. You should make the bombs blast us around more. Look, I'm right near new one. And I'm barely, barely moving. <laughs> barely moving. I think you get blasted more when you... Oh, 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 oh. Hit the raid bomb. Look, hit the raid, raid bomb. Bomb them. Raid bomb, bomb them. <laughs> Yo! Yeah! The lost CR, thanks so much! You're too slow. Ah! <laughs> hey! Hey Declan, how's it going? What's up, my friend? How are you doing this morning? What you up to? The food! Our breakfast! No! What, what are you doing? What are you doing? How are you doing? I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> She's here too. Get, get, <laughs> well, welcome to the stream, Declan. What? We. <laughs> we. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Bacon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. Whoa. All right. I got a number of things I want to do. I want to give you eyebrow control. Okay, cool. Uh, I can do that. I'm, I'm up for that. I'd like some eyebrows. <laughs> You'll have more control over your eyebrows in the game than you do in real life. Shut up. It's <laughs> <laughs> making fun of me because I accidentally made it so I can't use one of my eyebrows. I can't I can't say I no I notice. Um It's good. The, my other eyebrow is expressive enough for two eyebrows, so it's good. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. What how? I told this story before, so I'm sorry for anyone who's heard it. Um, but my old teacher in primary school, which is, um, for English people, it's like, uh, middle school, I guess. Um, he could, he could do this really cool thing where he could raise one eyebrow super high and keep the other one down. And I was like, how did you learn to do that? Because I want to learn to do it too. And he said to me, I just held one eyebrow down and raised the other for a really long time. And so for like, for years, I would hold one eyebrow down and raise the other one. Um, and it worked. However, I can no longer raise the eyebrow that I held down. <laughs> I can only raise the one. So. So that's it. That's the story. <laughs> I was sabotaged. So are there pictures of you as a kid with both eyebrows raised? Yep. Wow. Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> Mike can attest that it's real. <laughs> you can wiggle both. Good job. Thanks, Weechi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I obviously I did something wrong. You must have done it over a long period of time. I was yeah, I was dedicated to the cause. Of what? being able to raise only one eyebrow. When super did you good. realize that you, you 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 couldn't raise it anymore? There was a moment when I was doing it in the mirror, and I was like, "I can do it," and then I tried to do it the other way, <laughs> and just nothing happened. Like it didn't it didn't raise anymore, and I was like, uh "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no!" There was a while of me like holding the other one down and trying to raise that one to see if it would get some movement back, but it didn't. And then I became scared that I would end up with two that I couldn't raise, so I stopped doing it. I imagine you broke both of them. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm a DreamWorks forever. My face. It can kind of frown, is the weird thing. Yeah, you, I think... Yeah, no, you can frown. Yeah, there's, there's some muscles which are still going. Which let me frown, I just can't raise it. 
That's crazy. You're crazy. I wonder if it's just like you detach the two. If I detach them, I'd you'd figure that I would just be able to do what I want with them both. Yeah. But yeah, it sounds unreal, but it's real. <laughs> it sounds too stupid to be true, but it's absolutely true. So I guess my, my lesson to you all is don't hold down one eyebrow and raise the other one a lot. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you hold an eyebrow down, then you might lose the ability to move it properly. It, it gives credence to the, the 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 old wives' tale of like, don't hold your face like that; it might get stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there was someone like me one time, and they made the wives' tale about them, and that's how it started. I might. I wonder if I went to like an eyebrow training camp if they could give me the movement back. Maybe. You know, like learning to walk again after something awful happens. There's like one for eyebrows, where if you've self-sabotaged your eyebrows, they can help you. I would hope. I would hope so. All right. We're Some gold facial surgery, or I could just like I could shave off the eyebrow that doesn't work very well and just draw it on in different positions depending on what I need. Physical therapy, but for eyebrows. That's what I need. You're making so only one eyebrow is animated. No! <laughs> I shouldn't have brought this up. Shit. I mean, that's not a bad idea, but also... I want to live my dream of having two working eyebrows. <laughs> uh, she can frown with both, so I'm, I'm doing a frown. So Fair. Fine. wikihow.com lift one eyebrow oh no <laughs> the the solution might not be to hold one down i think the solution is hold one down with your muscle like i can do that use your hands to train your eyebrow push and hold the dominant eyebrow up with your hand also you you push it up Rather than pushing it down. Only, hold only the lower eyebrow down! Don't do this! <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it, guys! There is a chance that your eyebrow damage wasn't related to this. It was just... Oh, you think it just happened to happen at the same time on the same eyebrow? I don't know. I mean, I, I, it seems I pretty. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Don't do it, guys. Don't hold one eyebrow down. It's a bad idea. Are these models separated into different parts? Uh, like the Irish pupils are separate or the torso separate from the limbs? Yes. Uh, on both those counts. So, for instance, um, the eye here is apart. Um, do this. Cool. So we've got Swift Bro down uh, up here. Then we go into our animator. I feel like I've I've tried to push the other eyebrow up, guys, and it hasn't worked. <laughs> it's like um, the muscles are no longer there to support the action, or they're not strong enough to support the action. I could keep trying. I could just make it my mission every day to do like twenty eyebrow sit-ups. Yeah, maybe. See if I can bring it back.
Have you got the phone over there? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. I'm a muscle murderer. No! Cool. So, on... On Swifty... I think Doe's gonna try and do like a little tutorial to show everyone exactly how this is all put together. So that people can make their own if they wanted to. Yeah, yeah, I'm partway through writing the first part, which is, um making the 3d models and then after that i think i was going to do either twitch integration or um control stuff hey see basila how's it going you had to pull an all-nighter i hope things are going okay we're all right we're trucking along You know, as you do. I have uh, the big notes meeting today. So that's exciting. Oh, that is today, yeah. Good luck. Thank you. It's not till much later uh, because of time zones. I should have called this F bro down. For bro. For bro. Uh, but it's called F bro, so that's fine. Oh, I've already created this on this one. I must have. Okay. Interesting. You were halfway there. Apparently. Must have, yeah. So we want to set on here. I think you can see. Yeah. We want to set the parameter of this to F row. And then we want to have uh, two motion fields. And the second one be Swift Row. Is a uh, is the music at a good volume for you guys, by the way? It should be louder than it usually is. Yeah, just want to check that it's it's an okay volume for people in chat. Never hoits. Can barely hear any music. Don't hear the music. That's what I thought. Oh. Uh, we'll just we'll wiggle the the volume slider up and let us know if you make it too loud. That better. Awesome. You know what I said? You can raise it a little more. Be uh, be gentle with that their slider. Yeah, I think that's a good level. Okay. I'm looking at, at that in compared to our voices and it's it's just dipping under now. Cool. And this is a quiet song. Wait till we get to the heavy metal section, guys. Yeah, I might drop it down a little bit because that this is a soft song. Don't drop it down too much though. I just know you have a habit of making music super quiet on streams to the point where no one can hear this music. Oh, Emla, your Cintiq is arriving today. Ah! Ah! You have to tell us how it is. It might take a little bit of getting used to, but um, it'll be worth it. Super cool. I'm looking forward to seeing the first thing that you paint with it. You have to do like a speed paint or something. So that it's not behind NDA.
India, do you want to see if your brows work? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, this should work. The dream. <laughs> <laughs> this should work if you... Um... Oh. Oh, they're just down. I'm so mad. <laughs> I didn't do anything, I swear. What do you oh. want me to do? Um, if you pull the left trigger. Oh, the trigger. I'm a dumbass. Yeah. Okay. Are you pulling it? Yeah. Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay. It was doing this. It was doing this when I was trying to set up mine, but it was. It, it somehow did just work. Weird. I got. I got a popped blue. So I'll leave my controller on the side in case you need to, like, experiment with it while I'm away. Okay. I'll just be a sec. Thank you. There's one we can override. Oh, maybe it was because I slapped in an idol. Let's try that. This model. Um, Shit. Maybe I made my own idol. That she just hovers. Amazing. Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I know I know how to I know how to fix this. <laughs> um let's see. Create a new clip. Uh Swift Pro Idol. And 
then if I don't put any keyframes on it, it shouldn't, it should just work. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right now I'm just adding animations directly into Unity, um, but usually Blender, Candle Blur. For anything more complex than just holding a, a stake. We could probably get a little bit more expressive with them. India. I got it working. Do you want me to put it into the, the one you can see up there? Yeah, 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 I do it. So it's the left trigger, you said. Yeah, so it's working over in this thing here. Nick's Gamers, thank you for the follow. Hey, welcome. Morning, Ula! Okay, give me two seconds then. Okay. Close the main one. And then... Build and run. <laughs> Tikachu says this morning I received an email from someone who's interested in working together on an animated short. He asked about my price range and said he knows that one minute of animation takes several hours to make. Uh, I would nope out of that immediately. Yeah, one one minute of animation takes a little bit more than several hours. Just a little more. Take you know, Try several weeks, sometimes several months, depending on the quality you're going for. I mean, if your definition of several is stretched to like hundreds, then... Sure. Yeah, hundreds or thousands, then. Several hundred hours. For a minute, yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless unless they want very, very, very limited stuff. Yeah, unless they're just wanting, like, keyframes and, 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 like, puppeted poses and they have all the assets there for you, then... Are we meant to be there, Mike? Uh... Sh Here we are. Oh! <laughs> I'm angry about it. <laughs> There you go. I'm into it. If you if you want me to change the way that they um, move down or like what the, what the event oh gosh oh my gosh <laughs> ah! if you want it, if you want me to like change anything about it I can uh, mostly that's just a placeholder state for them so you should have like variable degree on the trigger as well. I do, it's just sometimes it gets stuck if uh, I press it quickly, you know? Hmm. I'm into it though. I wonder I if that's great. a code thing. Hey. Hey. <laughs> What you looking at? There we go. I've, I've you given, looking at me? I've given you more power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can... Yeah, you can hide the eyes as well now. Ah, it's so good. Where have I gone? There you are. There I am. Yes. 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 <laughs> F 
fake movie poster. Wait, I, do I do do I look this way? Yeah. Hell yeah. Look at this. Oh, we're the bad <laughs> kids on the block. <laughs> if you come near us, we'll put gum in your hair and make fun of your shoes. Oh. So, so you think that, um, you think the initial bomb should should send us more? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I do. Okay. I can run into it. And barely anything happened. Okay. Feels like they should have more impact. I can fix that. I can fix that right now. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Gab Madrid. That's hot. <laughs> Thanks for making me able to be angered Mike <laughs> just trying to make it true to life Swifty big preach <laughs> I had to give you a way to show your emotion I don't want to have to keep it all inside I want to show it with my eyes my eyebrows that is the ridge of hair above my eyes uh, the area of effect I think is okay on the cannon bombs they just, they Is just that what you think? Yeah, I do. I don't know. I think it could be bigger too. No. I mean, go big or go home, right? No. You are already at home, but go big or go to the bedroom and think about what you've done. <laughs> the Jaffa cakes really don't bounce anymore. What happened to our bouncy cakes? Um, I think through me programming um our jumps i've increased the gravity of the environment it, like it's doubled to get like a to get a fast jump um and so everything else has suffered from it oh man i can i can change things around though do it I'm thinking. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I'm thinking it might be cool to have us be able to change parameters um, from chat. Oh yeah, like make uh, make Jaffa cakes bouncier. Uh yeah. Well, um, maybe maybe that more more um, like increasing the power of the cannon that fires things. For, for aiming I don't, I don't know I'm just thinking I think I think the main thing you want to do is just make the bombs more powerful right now yeah <clears throat> so we look for our cannon bomb drawing's hard why is drawing so hard Snake eye. <laughs> Thanks for our sna snack eye. Snake eye. Thanks for the follow. Thank you. <clears throat> That's why I got him to copy and paste. I can't copy and paste something I haven't drawn yet. You missed on his sound clip. Make him say yes. Make him say yes. I keep doing this. I keep doing this. I keep doing like the current mode is this rather than um, sv.change. Rather than calling the the function. Um, 
So what it does is it ends up putting us sort of in the state, but sort of not. Okay, maybe we don't need 10 for that anymore. And then we're gonna do six. Got no reason to complain. We need um, we need to finish doing our Dorgan Swift alerts at some point. That's on me. I did the follow one. I need to do a subscription one and a uh, and all the other ones as well. Well, it depends on whether we're going with the the usual stream elements thing or we we want to do stuff inside of the Unity. I don't know. It's up to you. I mean, it, it doesn't really depend on that, does it? Because either way, I've got to make them. Well, for instance, we're talking about throwing a... <laughs> Thank you for the subscription, Too Tight Jacket. Thank you. We're talking about um, making subscriptions like that ha have like a chest that gets thrown in and stuff. Yeah. But um, I think we'd probably still want... You still want the 2D thing. Well, I like the, the, subs I like the follow one. Yeah. Okay, fair. That's fair. Maybe I could just do like one of those um one of those newspapers spinning into the screen. <laughs> Where it's like extra extra and then we can have their name just subscribed. Oh, that could be good. I like that. Because then it's like a subscription. Too tight jacket, thank you so much. Thank you for the subscription. You see, this is when we need something like a spinning newspaper. To be like, -ra -ra. The morning paper, I like it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, can someone, can someone throw a bomb? And we'll see what happens in this this pink pink window. See what happens to us. Is that enough? Let me see. <laughs> no. Come on, Mike. Mike is a very death by degrees person. Like he will like inch his way towards a solution rather than just overshooting it. Overshoot it, Mike. Overshoot it. Yeah. All right. All right. Um... <laughs> oh, too tight jacket. Thanks so much. That was Mike's idea to post that. Look, Mike. Too tired jacket came over because they saw they saw the thing you posted. Oh, oh yeah. you saw the. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, thanks so much. Yeah, exactly. I do need the proper sound to go with it too, Ula. At least that shouldn't be too hard to make, though. So. You can probably make that during a weekend or something. Okay, I will copy paste this hole over just to make sure I can keep it the same size. Roughly. Alright, I've increased the radius, I've increased the force. Did you overshoot it? Yeah. Yeah, you deliberately overshot it. What strength is it at now? You had it at six before, right? The, yeah, it's at 15 and it's timesing by seven. There you go. <laughs> Hold on, I have to see it still on the stream. 
I've got a huge delay. Yeah, there you go. That's more like it. You can really tell the difference in weight between Mike and me. That better? Yeah. Okay. I think the bombs in this scene are also affecting the bombs. <laughs> Affecting the object now in the uh, in the breakfast room. How so? Because they were exploding in one area, but they their their radius oh. is larger, so they're hitting the, the other room. That's pretty funny. Do you have the other room active the entire time that this room is active? I no, I have it set so that when you switch over, it freezes things. So if you look. If you look here, if we go over, oh wow! Yeah, I can't. We can't go over if you're telling me that it's frozen when we're not over. We can't go over because it resets when we go over as well. But I'm basically just making sure your computer's not doing a bunch of extra work. Yeah, no, I set it so everything freezes. It just because it, it because it then got hit again, it will be doing that extra work because the radius of the bombs is now able to reach reach them. Can you make it so so that it is like deactivated when we're not looking at it? Yeah. Like Schrodinger's cat is deactivated when you're not looking at it. Yeah, I can try. Like it's not a huge thing. It's just like I I fear your computer might uh, have some troubles if it has to compute everything all the time. Yeah, I think it's a good call. Like I can probably turn off the uh, the clouds as well if they're not going. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Cowabunga! Cowabunga! <coughs> How are you doing, Pippin Black? We're doing okay, thanks. Just uh, chipping away at this page. I need to get three done a week to keep up with my schedule. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this one and re rebuild it. Oh no, Pippin Black, India's working on a graphic novel. Um, oh yeah, uh, I'm making a comic that's going to be published next year by IDW called The Girl in the Glim. So um, I, I asked them and they said it was okay for me to make the pages on stream. Which is good because I'm making them alongside um, a full-time job. So it helps me kind of carve out the space for it. A bit more. It is a cool name, huh? Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks very much. I appreciate it. I like it too. I've been listening to, um, to some D and D podcast recently because I love D and D, so uh, it's kind of like my chosen thing to listen to when I cannot work. And there was a character that entered in called Swifty, <laughs> which is a small stabby gingerbread man in the current D and D campaign I'm listening to, and I was like, "That's so perfect." Did the did and the thing the keep, high pitched keep... voice that you said to me is that a quote or did you just make that up? That's a quote. <gasps> oh, it's it's so dark. Yeah. Um. It's a recurring character too, so we keep saying Swifty, and it's it's kind of cool to listen to. You're, it's like you're there. Yeah. Now I know how other people feel when they say like Mike during something, and you're like, "Who? 
Yeah, well, they, they say, like, Michael is a very common name, so that happens a lot. And it's usually some child in a store who's run away. Yeah, it doesn't happen to me very often. I have heard a couple of kids get called India by their parents, and that's always a bit of a trip. Is that more satisfying now? I mean, it looks more satisfying. Hit me. Hit me! I speed. Oh, Pippin Black, thanks so much. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to learn. I got, a, <laughs> I got a lot better thanks to some of the storyboard work I've been doing recently. Um, I used to fear perspective. Now I'm just um, very, very nervous of it. But also, I downloaded something called Lazy Nazumi, and I haven't used it yet on this page. But it's like a plugin for Photoshop. And it has all these great perspective tools that will help you. So I used it for a previous page and I might be using it a little bit on this one. I'm jumping on chat. <laughs> you leave chat alone. No. I have thought about making a chat client and realized it might be quite easy. But I'm just going to write it in case anyone wants to try it. Um, because it's it's free. Uh, you do have to buy the full version to unlock all the features, but I've been using the free version and finding it pretty great. You should make it so you can punch the chat. Punch the chat. Punch the chat. Um, you made a little pixel art of us, but you have no idea how to share it other than Discord. Oh, um. Do you have Twitter? Yeah. If you have a Twitter, you can tweet it at us. Or you could, if you have like Imager or something, you could just post the link, link in chat. And yeah, can... yeah. Or put it on Imager and you can link us in the chat. That is like super, super cool of you. You made pixel art of us. What? Yes. Thank you. I'm up here just with the test tubes. <laughs> no, you're not. Hey. I mean, you have the. Um, I the saved you. You have the the letters that you made for the other thing. Don't know if you could do chat like that. <clears throat> uh, n no, that was a that was a custom that was a custom thing, and the the letters are really really polygon heavy for the for the Breakfast Club. So, oh really? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you want to see how heavy they are? Oh my gosh, why did you make them that way? Just to make them look like the font. Yeah. If I go into wireframe mode. Yeah, you can see all the <laughs> see all the polys there. That must have taken you a long time to do. No, um, you can you can create meshes from fonts in Blender. Okay. So I I didn't make them. So that's probably also why the high poly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because like, Blender was just like, yeah, I need a million points to make this curve. It basically creates the vectors of them, and then I extruded the vectors. Hello everyone, happy stream to you all, and I hope you don't mind me sending you some love from France. Mur, 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 mur. <laughs> oh, Alex Sergal, thank you so much. Thank you. Hold on, I'm gonna get these. No force can stop me. Ha <laughs> ha Mike will not get any. No, no. <laughs> I got one. I got one. <laughs> I can't reach it. Wait, I'll throw you. I'll throw you. That's fucking teamwork. <laughs> uh, you'll bounce up. You'll bounce up. You go. 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 I'm going. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Oh. I think you got some of them. Nah. I mean, that's okay. Look, I got a lot of them. Well Behold. Done. Well done. I am the Crystal Queen! I got one on my head. Nice. I, I, good. I really do want to make it so that they move with their heads when they turn. So they're stuck to different parts of us. Yeah, rather than the capsule that we are. 
That would be cool. India, we're just we're just two capsules. That's existential, man. Yeah. That's how we interact with the world. Sometimes I wonder if we're not real. If we're in some kind of weird simulation that's being controlled by someone else outside of us. <laughs> we shouldn't think about that. Nah, that wouldn't happen, would it? Yeah, we wouldn't be observed, would, would we? Would it? God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God. This must be like what how actors feel when they have to like act like they're in an environment. Here's <gasps> 10 more bits to catch. Go for it. No! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I'm in your way. Mm. Can I get these floor ones? Why aren't you I want super the floor saining? crystals. I think you've got them. Why aren't I super saining? Yeah. It just felt unfair. Oh. I'm so fast when I'm Super Saiyan. Throw me, throw me, throw me, throw me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I get it? I think so. No. No. <laughs> How do I get this one? You suck! <gasps> <gasps> Whoa, oh. what the heck? Get M boys. Yo! Emlet, thank you so much. Holy shit, 100. Look at this, I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat him so good. I, I have a bigger surface mess. I have more passion and enthusiasm for life. <laughs> I also like how they make me heavy, so it's like it becomes increasingly harder to reach them. <gasps> oh my gosh! Who Here's 50 more. Oh my gosh, Alex Circle, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. I'm going to catch up. You'll never catch up. It's like a whole new ball game now that we can actually move around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, we used to just have to, like, just drift and hope that we would happen to uh, to catch them. <laughs> We're off on this one. Ah -ha, ha I think I got it. I'm going to make them bounce here again. Yeah, please. The bounce. Whoa, whoa, you whoa. You ain't out bitsing me. Emla, thank you. Oh, my gosh, you guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yo, I breached 100. No. I'm still on 50. <laughs> you po going around. I'm trying. Okay, I'm gonna go make them bouncier. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like them bouncier. I'm in some kind of crystal mobile now. It's like I'm in some kind of crystalline vehicle. I'm gonna push you around. <laughs> I am become the crystal monster destroyer of worlds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you guys very much. Okay, I've made them I've made them maximum bouncy now. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, Alex here's Michael. my last crystal for you grab them. Oh, thank you. Okay. <sighs> Right, I'm gonna you know, try and grab some. We'll see how bouncy they are. Oh, I think they could be bouncier still. Yeah, no, they're. I haven't. They're. You haven't executed it yet. No. Okay. Okay. Good to know. I got one, three, two. It's my lucky number. I destroyed it by getting another. <laughs> I just have a crystal dick right now. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> you, just, you are endowed with the crystals. It's just a big big appendage in front of me. Aha! Oh, did you get rid of yours so you're more mobile? Yeah. That made sense. Also, just because I assumed there weren't going to be any more coming, so I was like, ah! Alright, let me reset so that we have... Wow! Bouncier. Wow! Here I go! It would be pretty cool if the bombs made you lose crystals. Ooh, oh my gosh, that, that could I'd be, be so good. sad. That would be that could be, be so good. <laughs> Alright, okay. Hang on a sec. Don't throw anything else. Or no pressure to throw anything anyway. I mean bombs and free stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your points! Doink, that is very naughty. <laughs> Sorry. You think you think you see a, uh, a cute 
burden to bear and that they're going to be completely wholesome. And then they start wholesome. talking about dicks and you're like, <laughs> oh no! Uh, and then increase the size so India can see it. It's all good. And then... Cool. Alright. Everything should be like more bouncy now. I have no, I didn't test it, but throw Jaffa kick in it. We'll see. You better not have inched up the bounciness. It better be like super bounce. Oh, I'm into it, Mike. It looks good. <laughs> no, I, I, I maxed it out. Yeah, I like it. Good job. They're I'm not proud. as bouncy as they used to be, but that's simply because the environment is heavier. They're all heavier, gravity wise. I'm, I'm into it. Them. I can't pick up cereal boxes anymore, though. Oh, they probably need grab, grabable. Whoa! <laughs> I guess that was one of the uh, the boxes exploding. Yep, yeah, I'm holding one. Yeah, there I go. <laughs> Holy shit! You did this, Swifty. You did this. I try to be moderate. Yeah! <laughs> I like the floppy fish setting that we have. <laughs> yeah. I call it backflip. You ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> it's like so not a backflip. Going up? Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I can fly. <laughs> Pedron says, "What is this? It's amazing. This is um, this is a stream overlay that Mike has built for us, or Doig, as you guys will know him." I'm Doig. I'm the bear. Doig I'm the Swift. Bear. I'm the bird. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah. So everything's built in Unity. We make art. You can, you can see. It. We this is my art now. Yeah, and Mike is making um, the overlay for, for us on the stream. You can see here, I made like a little breakfast environment, breakfast nuke for us. Which is over here, but we're over here while we're doing art. Uh, this is our, <laughs> this is our set. I, I am tempted to like make a little like stage out here as if there's like an audience and like the whole stage is a green screen like lean into the the myth oh uh pippin black says wait throw him up and then try to do the flop if i throw you up will you try and do the flop in yeah. midair yeah okay you ready uh i think so three two one do the Doing flop the swift here's some bits for you they're my very <laughs> last ones enjoy them oh Oh, Alex Sergal, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. Oh, thank you. Oh, we really appreciate it, dude. Thanks so much. They look bouncier now, right? Yeah, they definitely do. <laughs> I'm getting. Like, I, I get, mean, I'm, I think that you're in fish mode, though, aren't you? Yeah, so, so I'm getting hit by them. <laughs> but yeah, they're definitely making me bounce. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Whoa! This, this is my technique. I'm into it. Pogo. Whoa. I like it. We have less control over it now. It feels I like I watch literally like. no other streams, so I'll give all my bits. <laughs> oh, Emlet. Oh, oh, Emla, thank you. Emla, would you say that we are your uh, your favorite streamers? <laughs> the only ones you watch. <laughs> Feel like it's because Tib happens to be in chat a lot of the time. Hey, he found Tib through our chat, so. Jeez, Emla. Jeez, jeez. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, we really appreciate it. Sincerely, like, thank you. Um, I'm, it really does help us out. I'm winning. I'm not winning. I, w I need to win. I like that the bounciness has made it feel more random. Like, I don't really have control over it anymore. Yeah. So it's up to fate. <laughs> Here I go. Yo, what is that technique? Who is she? <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> yes. Oh man. I, I get stuck to the sides. 
Oh, you We're beautiful. Beat me. You beat me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. The beautiful drift. <laughs> too fast, too furious, Tokyo drift. <laughs> we have to watch that next. That's our next one we need to watch. Damn straight. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh. Cool. Beautiful. Just, just two crystal buds bouncing around the stream. Whoa, look at you go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's how animation works, guys. You can't, they can't see this. It's too fast for them. Oh, really? They can't see it? Yeah. There oh, was like, shame. there was like multiple instances of me on, on the, uh, <laughs> where'd I go? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, there was multiple instances of, of me on the screen. There was like like four of me in a straight line, like different. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, look at the smooth 60 frames per second animation. Everyone knows animation is better when it's 60 frames a second. Everybody knows. Are you, so you want to be able to grab, you want to be able to grab cereal boxes, yeah? Oh, I just thought we could. I thought like, we could I'm not always up to date with what you can and can't do on these openings because they like change so much so frequently. Yeah, um, it's because I made grabbing stuff its own script rather than being a food object. And I think cereal boxes just didn't get the new script. There we go. Done. Wow, that was fast. The hardest thing about drawing Sylvia is remembering to add on all of her post-it notes every time. What's that? I said the hardest thing about drawing Sylvia is remembering to add on her post-it notes every time. Oh yeah. Do you do her um her skirt sketchy lines on its own layer? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just realized that that might be very similar to the um to the cross hatching for you. Do you know how difficult it is to 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 flat when when there's all the <laughs> Are you deliberately Are you do, Are you pretending to be me right now? No. Why do you still have a number up? Oh, you got the knife. You got you, you got the knife. <laughs> don't even don't eat don't eat <laughs> don't eat don't even. <laughs> no. <laughs> At least I haven't programmed a sort like a slash for you yet. Would you stop <laughs> hovering toward me? Ha. <laughs> <laughs> you can't move while you're stuck. Damn it, I used to be able to. I'm up a tree. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Up. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> 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 
Captain Well, Rude. I hope you two Yay. are gonna have a lot of fun in this stream. But I have to go to work. I love you so much, you two are <gasps> the poorest <awesome> streamers <gasps> ever. Aww. Thank you. Thanks so much. Wow. Yeah, Alex, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day at work. Hope that you have an awesome time and have a good day and things go well for you. Have, have a awesome time and hopefully we'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you so much for all your generosity and support. We really thank appreciate you. it. Also, Wasabi Cheetah sent us a crow mail. Uh, oh, a crow mail. Crow mail says, Roses are red. This is the third time I post this, but third time's a charm. Before I start bursting through walls screaming, admire my majestic art before I get pissed. Oh. oh okay, we got it. We got Sorry. it. We got it. We got it. We got distracted. <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are cute. Everybody look. Oh my gosh. I love it. So cute. This, this is perfect. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I just had a, I just had a great idea. Can we add this to our, our fan art showcase at the beginning, like our little slideshow? Yes. No, I'm asking Wasabi Cheetah. Oh. For permission, not you. Oh, thank you, Alex. But also, like, absolutely no pressure to send us bits. We never expect them. Yeah, no so, worries so, on yeah, that. Yeah, you're welcome to just like hang. No expectation. Observe. Well, Sabi, let us know if you're okay with us um, with us using that on the slideshow. If not, totally fine. I just had an idea. Uh huh. I, I just had an idea. What is it? So, it's it's possible to feed um, Unity a URL for an image texture, right? What if I set it up so that there's a command where we pass it a URL of like a piece of fan art or, or any kind of image, but this is a, I'm specifically thinking about fan art, and then it spawns a cube in the environment that has the texture of the fan art on it so that we can like interact with it as the little avatars. <laughs> I mean, that's cool, but it would be kind of hard to see the fan art if it was on a cube. Well, I'm thinking it would, it would, the cube would take the dimensions of the image and it would be like, it would, it would pop it in the middle of the screen what? as the right aspect ratio. What about if you had it come down from the ceiling instead, like a um, whiteboard slideshow? Yeah. 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 I could do that. Could and now it's just a flat plane, and then it will be like way easier to show it off properly. Oh, but I want to run and grab it and throw it around. <laughs> um. I mean, you could put it on a canvas. Yeah. 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 Drop like, it in on like a little canvas propped up. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's. Yeah. Okay. okay. And we could make that something that our mods could do. Yeah, moderator only command. Sounds good. I think I can do that. <laughs> exactly, Ula says we'll get a lot of dicks. Yeah, we need it to be mod only, <laughs> or people will just send us dicks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be anyone post it that it just comes in. That's. Oh, Emla, all of that stuff you did off your own back. That's no like, good. We. You don't owe us anything for any of it. It was all you, dude. But, like, always a pleasure to have you here and to hang out with you. You have an awesome day at work! Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna second what India said there. Like, that all, that all happened because you are the person that you are. So. And because you're the artist that you are as well. <laughs> Gamer interrupted said I may send tits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can try, but our mods 
crack team. They're amazing. I mean, if it wasn't against term terms of service or whatever, yeah, we'd have boobs I'd on be all like, day. yes. But Twitch would be like, no. So, unfortunately, we have to abide by the rulers of the realm. Or they'll DMC him, DMC, they'll block us, and then they'll be like, DMC. get out of here, you shitty little barren bird. And your audience that send you boobies. And we'll be like, you can get rid of us, but our audience who send us boobies will always be here to send other streamers boobies. <laughs> I did. I did not say boogers. I said boobies. <laughs> we look like the little mammals from Animal Crossing. I get. I guess that had a little bit of a, a little bit of an effect on how yeah, we look. I can totally see that. Like you could pop us into Animal Crossing, and we'd be like, we'd fit in pretty well. <laughs> I want some drip, dude. You want you want some drip? Yeah. What do you want? I don't know. We could design ourselves some cool outfits. You have a hat. I can get you. We can. I can program in the hat for you if you want. Yeah. I never know how to get to things. Well, there's there's no way to get to them yet. I do think the Scatman thing, the uh, the floppy fish mode. Yeah. I like it. I don't know whether we need to take up space on the wheel for it. Like I think I kind of liked it better when. The way that you got to it was just through doing a weird combination of things. I don't think it needs to be, like, on the actual emote wheel. Okay. But... Okay. I mean... I tried- I was trying to make it easier to get into. Yeah, and it is easier to get into, but am I gonna use it as much as I'd like to use some of the, like, actual emotes? That yeah, we're gonna that's have? true, that's Probably true. Not. Well, I can take it off. I can take it off the wheel. But I fixed it doing it the bug way. So do you want me to unfix it doing the bug way? Nah, it's okay. You can keep it as a thing that we can activate. Like, maybe we'll figure out where to put it once we have everything else. Yeah, I can make the wheel bigger. That's that's the beauty of a wheel, is it can have <laughs> as many options as you want. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I'm worried about having a huge wheel also, but... <laughs> Yeah, I I can see that. What a wave! <laughs> Pablo says you can have a second wheel by holding another button. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> wheel tier two, tier two wheel. So what are you doing today, Mike? Um, oh, I was going to make an airship. But yeah, to uh, continue a little bit what I was saying earlier. I've been listening to a lot of um, Dropout TV stuff. Yeah. So if you guys have heard of Dimension 20, then that's like the home of Dimension 20. I've just been really enjoying their D&D sessions. Having a lot of fun listening to those. And which ones are your favorite at the moment? Hmm, I still really, really like um, Fantasy High. Fantasy High is great because um, Fantasy High is great because they're all new when they start playing it. Right, gotcha. And so you kind of get to learn a lot of the rules and stuff along with them. Yeah, and you get whereas, to learn about them a bit more. Yeah, whereas later on they all know how to play already because of Fantasy High. So. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, Fantasy High I really loved. Um, I really liked also the Unseen City. Mm -hmm. It was just very cool to have a very like Neil Gaiman-esque setting almost. Is that the one that you showed me? 
Yeah, I started to show it to you. You listened was, to a little bit of episode one. That was so dark. I love, I love that the 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 Santa part. Yeah, it's just um, it's just about the unseen side of New York that's full of magic and stuff that kind of coexists. Do you reckon? Um, do you reckon he was inspired by Neverwhere for that? Yeah. I definitely get Neverwhere vibes from it. Yeah. It's the same kind of tone. Yeah. And uh, lately I've been listening to A Crown of Candy, which is really fun. It's Game of Thrones, except everyone's made of candy because <laughs> it's it's based in a world where food is people and they're all different like snacks. So it's, it's funny because it's got a really dark, unforgiving tone. Like in the Game of Thrones, you either win or you die. Yeah, vibe. pretty much. It's extremely brutal, but also everyone is like a type of candy. So you told us about Swifty the Gingerbread Man. What are the others? Uh, Swifty the Gingerbread Man is one who was introduced recently. So you're basically following the adventures of the current royal family. Yeah. Who are suffering assassination plot after assassination plot because there's like a huge conspiracy against them. So there's like the king and then his bodyguard, he's like a gummy bear, <laughs> a huge gummy bear. And then their cleric is like a chocolate bunny. And then his daughters are like red and black licorice. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, and his wife is caramel. And then there's like a boy who they're kind of holding is war prisoner but kind of lives free behind their walls um who's like peppermint swizzle or something peppermint swizzle something amazing um india on this airship where do you think the breakfast nook room would be where the airship yeah so this is this is the front and then this would be the back, and that's the side with the cannons. Um, somewhere with the big windows, probably near the back. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Because you normally have those big windows along the butt of a ship. Yeah. So we could maybe be either in here. Though I feel like we maybe down here. I feel like if we were at the actual book, we'd have bigger windows. Yeah. Which I think is what I envisioned to begin with, but you made it much more like just a room. Yeah, so. I mean, it was just a room to begin with, but I, I I can change the style of the windows easy enough. I mean, I'd love to have huge windows. Huge, huge windows. Mm -hmm. like... I think Captain Hook's quarters. Oh... Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but we're... Mm, 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 mm. So you were imagining like... Uh, oh. Were you imagining that... This whole... This whole whole wall could be a window yeah kind of all right you would know how still, when would it you still be the side of the ship or would it would you imagine this is the back of the ship you know how when you have the butt of ships yeah they have these big broad windows cradling around the back yeah like a window nappy yeah <laughs> well like that room that room that room okay that was mmm mmm. But if it doesn't match with what you wanted, then we're it making just, this together, so Yeah, it just feels like this room is like more of a cute little nook in my head, which would be a part of the ship, but not not like the captain's quarters. Mm -hmm. so. Are we ever gonna get to see the actual captain's quarters? Yeah, mm. Because if you're never gonna make it, then it feels like a waste. It does, doesn't it?
Hmm. Like if you're saving that for a different part that you also want to make, then fair enough. Yeah. But if you're just like... No, I see what you're saying. Not going to end up making it if this isn't the room, then it feels like why not use the biggest, coolest part of the ship for the bit that we're having our streams in. That makes That makes a lot of sense to me. Hey, Pink Cherries, how's it going? Candle Blur says for a moment I thought you said a bunker. I don't know what I said. I don't know what you said either. <laughs> so you're thinking like... I'm assuming you have this sort of thing in your head. Oh, come on, show me the actual image I was looking for. Yeah, this. Yeah, those big windows. Like, obviously the room wouldn't be as complicated as that. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I think the initial reference was the skies of Arcadia Bridge. I love the work you are doing. Here's some more bits for your effort. BTW, are you doing a TV set on airship? That will be so cool. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Wow. Jeez, Alex. You are, like, thank you so much for all the bits today. That's so generous of you. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, are you doing a TV set on an airship? Yes, essentially. So the TV set is going to be our, like, stream setup. And then... We kind of want it to be on an airship because we just think airships are cool. We just love Skies of Arcadia. So, um, yeah. The Skies of Arcadia bridge is a little bit simpler but also has the same windows. Yeah, I didn't imagine that we were, that this room that we're, we have was the bridge. I was going to make the bridge something, something else. Okay, what are you going to make the bridge? Uh... I was going to have a, a bridge environment be the one where it, like, it looks out the front of the airship like you can see where we're going right. and have that be another environment that's separate from... But when would we get to see that? When can we get to see that? When would we get to see that in the stream? Um, I was thinking for maybe like toward the end where like we're going to go raid someone. Could be that screen or... It could just be an alternate starting screen. I think it makes more sense to not have an alternate starting screen. It makes more sense to have it be the end screen. Yeah. I just think that we could do something else for the end screen too. I feel like we should spend most of the stream time or a lot of the stream time in the coolest place on the ship. I hear you, but the coolest place on the ship it's difficult to show that and our screens at the same time. Yeah, well, this was going to be for the opening, right? Yeah. This was for the opening room, not for this. So we wouldn't be showing our screens at the same time. Right, gotcha. Hmm. But I'll support whatever you want to do. Ben's is saying, I think this main view area could be the deck of the ship. So like we run out onto the deck that's pretty sweet. I That's like that. pretty cool. That's very cool, Ben. I do like that. I do like that conceptually. Mm-hmm. And we could use the bottom area to show that, like, it's a little rail and such. I kind of want to give a little glasses just for this one shot. I think I might do it. No one can stop me. It's my book. <laughs> it is your book. You can do whatever you want. I, I like that conceptually. Um, which would mean like space wise. Space wise. Uh, 
we're looking at the um it would it would be like we'd be in here yeah okay okay I mean, otherwise we only, we'd have to have just potholes basically for windows. Yeah. Which okay. Which is nice. So let's say this, this part of the ship is where the, where the breakfast nook is. And at the back of, hmm. Okay. 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 I have, I have, I have, I'm, I'm. I'm having ideas. <gasps> oh no, guys, he's getting ideas. Um, what are you thinking, Mike? So I'm thinking that... Hmm, I'm thinking. You better think faster because we're gonna have to end the stream soon. And I wanna hear these ideas. I was thinking that if this was the back of the room and then this area here could be like the front of the room where you look out and the really big windows going forward and this is the really big windows going going back but you would have to you'd have to run you'd have to run out the door this way to get the here i mean to be honest modeling remodeling the room doesn't really matter like no not at all no, what I mean is like you can do anything to the room and it wouldn't affect things too much so long as like the the window is still on the same side. Yeah. That's the only thing that really needs to stay fixed. Yeah. You can change anything else. But I like the idea that like this wall could be used to build the the feeling of um, there being like a, a front bridge here. Game it interrupted. That plays in my head every time Mike says he has an idea. <laughs> Where is our ship going? To dry land. The promised land. It's Mad Max it. Yeah, because... Like, if, if we're taking... If we're taking Skies of Arcadia as a, as, a, as a point of reference, they have a window at the back, and he's... He's looking forward. So the, the, it could be our, our bridge. It could be our bridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. And then they have a bunch of stuff along this wall, which could be the thing that we have. Um, like, effectively, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you could always have it be the front as well and just have us run out like on cam. Okay, okay. Here's here's the two options. Um This could be the front of the ship. Mm -hmm, the window. Here, yeah. This could be the front of the ship. In which case we'd like insert a door maybe where the poster is or something. Yeah, it could be a door here. Or this is the back of the ship and this this wall becomes the front where we'd look out onto the deck. So we wouldn't be able to see that wall during the, the introduction. No. Not explicitly. But that that's where it would be conceptually that we would have like a little uh we'd have a little ship wheel there'd be a window you would see out to the deck but over you wouldn't this be way. able to see any of that ever like when what's the situation where you would actually see that wall um you would see that wall 
if we were happened to be in this area mm -hmm. and one of us happened to switch the screen on and one of us picked up the camera. Okay, but you otherwise would you then. wouldn't see it. Otherwise you wouldn't see it, no. And you don't <laughs> think it might be kind of cool to have a little steering wheel and stuff behind you and just make the room here a little bit bigger? Yeah. Because it might be nice to just have see that in general because it's cool. It will mean though that the raiding ship, I'd have to rethink that. Because if this was the back and we had cannons on the back of our ship, we could be raided from the back and it would it could make sense like this. But if this was the front of the ship and there was a deck in front of us, then it wouldn't make sense. Or, or we put this at this stuff at the very front of the ship and we do it backwards. I'm not sure what you just said, but I think you could redo the raid pretty easily. Yeah. Um, if we kept everything but just changed up where the ship comes from and to. Yeah, so. let's have a vote. Okay. Uh, what, like a poll vote or just yeah. a chat vote? A poll vote. Poll vote, so, okay. Would you guys rather that where Doig is currently standing becomes the front of the ship where we have like a little ship wheel and you can see out to the deck and we run out there when the stream starts? Or would you rather where Doig is standing at the minute is the back of the ship and so we just see like sky out there and the front of the ship is on the opposite wall that we can't usually see? I'm going to say window is front of ship. So the options are window is back of ship, window is front of ship. Yeah. Window is what now? Uh, start poll five minutes. There you go. Yeah, Punk Cherry says if the opposite wall is different, you could have the camera follow with you run out. So currently we have, we just spawn and we switch screens. Yeah. So there's no running out, but I don't know if that's something you could do, Mike, where you could. Um. Or would that be too complex? Uh, getting us to like look like we're running it would be a little tricksy mm -hmm. but having the camera move between the scenes and make it feel like we've we've ran it like like if we had a door there we could just literally run out of the door and then switch scenes yeah currently we have a door here yeah we'd have here. to make one we could get through though yeah yeah, like we could <laughs> we could physically run out and then we'd be in the other environment. Yeah, like we could physically run out from this stream space here and then just switch screens. Yeah. It's, it's weird because I don't have a preference, you know, like both both are cool for me. I mean, I have a preference. You have a preference. Yeah, but I feel like people kind of know what my preference is. Your preference is this is the front. So I'm interested in what other people think. Like yeah. People who are actually going to be watching us do stuff. What do you guys think? Oh, this was the reason that I made things less bouncy. <laughs> Was we couldn't stand on we couldn't stand oh, on anything. Oh, you can't anything. stand on the food. Yeah, I'm gonna make the food less bouncy than the other bouncy things. Yeah, that's that's easy enough. Okay, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna put us back on the other screen, just so people can see what you're drawing. 
Oh, I still have the camera. That's pretty funny. You brought it with you. I did. Ooh, window is back of ship is winning. There you go. Yeah, I do think that door is kind of a house door, Ben. I would I would push for it to be just an open open or more of a ship door. I yeah, I'll make it more of a ship door. <laughs> I think, I think partially, like, I got my metaphors mixed up when I was making stuff. Your metaphors? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I think it, I think I made it like a little cozy sitting room. Yeah. And then remembered that it was supposed to be on an airship. And then started putting the airship stuff when I was like, oh, the raid could be a ship coming up to raid us. So we're hard left turning a little bit. Well, I mean, to me, it was always an airship. It's always been an airship. It's it's the astronaut looking at the moon meme right now. It's always been an airship. I just was a stupid dumb bear who was like, I'll put a door here. I know how to make a door You're look not a like stupid doors. Dumb bear. You're cute. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I, like, I guess I could make it a little more rounded. Like, a, well, I think you should look at reference. Ship door, like this. That's what that's what I had in my head when I said I'll oh, make a little awesome. bit more rounded. Yeah, I, I, love I meant that. this little porthole. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, I mean, we can do that. I love that. Yeah, we can totally do that. Himba. <laughs> It's an Oberdin ship. We need to look it up. Am I too clever to be a him bear? Yeah. Yeah. The 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 feeling of relief that shot through me when you were like, yeah, it was like, oh good. Yeah, you are. You've made this entire place like pretty smart. What's an Oberdin ship? Look it up. <laughs> Oh, it's like the game, that awesome game where it's like a mystery. Oh, okay. See, in my head, it's like the little Jack from Skies of Arcadia. Yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, the I just Jack Google searched little, <laughs> little Jack. Uh, Skies of Arcadia. I don't know why I thought Little Jack was gonna get us where we needed to go. This, this is what's in Swifty's head. Yeah. Oh, did the poll finish? Did the, oh, did the poll, what's that, was that five minutes? Mm -hmm. Uh, view results. I can't. I can't believe only seven of you care yeah. enough to vote. I see you, you 46 viewers. <laughs> only seven of you care, huh? Here we are. Just throwing ourselves onto the floor in front of you, pleading, please help us. Give us your opinions. No. <laughs> Just gonna sit there in your chair, listening, probably doing something more important. <laughs> Fine, we'll do, we'll do something, and then you'll be like, oh, they did the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay. I actually didn't mean to. I, I did. I wasn't actually calling you all out. You're all cool. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm not really <laughs> mad at anyone. Um. Please go back to what you were doing. I didn't mean to distract you too much. Everybody else tuning in and go. Everybody's what am I meant to be wait, watching what? this? Why am I being called out? <laughs> Oh, a lot of people are on the fence like I was. Yeah. Everyone leaves. Yeah, that's it. Drop to zero viewers. Okay, back of the ship is what we ended up with, right? Yes. 
Okay, cool. We can roll with that. I mean, I can I can make the assets and switch it around if we if it doesn't feel like it's working. Susie, you're <laughs> you're working at the same time. To everyone who's working right now, I hope it's going well. You got this. You can do it. Um, we were voting on what d- what orientation our little breakfast nook room was in regards to where it is on the airship. That's that was the that was the discussion. Um, so velocity art. You were looking for a girl in the glim. Found this, which is a volume of girl in the glim back from 2017. Did I miss a release, and how do I buy it? So. Oh, you didn't miss a release. Don't worry, it's not released yet, which is why I'm still currently making it. Um, so India made a 60-page book of girl in the glim that um, we self-published in 2017, and now India's working on the next part, but it's going to be published together <clears throat> with the first 60 pages as a 120 page book yeah idw are publishing it um but it's gonna be one big collected volume now so it'll be the stuff i self-published and the new stuff that i'm currently working on over there all in one volume but it won't be available um it's not going to be released until i think june next year but you can pre-order it now and pre-orders are like massively helpful because they tell bookstores how many to order like, if no one pre-orders it, then bookstores won't order it. And then no one will be able to buy it from those bookstores because they were like, well, no one pre-ordered it, so we didn't think there was demand for it, so we didn't bother ordering it. So if, pre-orders are, like, a massive big thing. If you pre-ordered from a store, like like a like a proper store, then you pre-ordered the 120-page the, the one. Yeah. If you've, if you've pre-ordered at all, we've closed our store selling it so we're not selling the original copies anymore yeah so if you've pre-ordered it then you have the proper version that's going to be coming which will include this page that i'm currently making right now and if if you want a copy of the 60 page version it is 50 euros and i will expect it in a paper bag uh, hidden behind the toilets in morrison's we'll do a dead drop (laughs) on tuesday yeah so yeah ben says it's got to be popular before anyone has a chance to read it yeah that's that's true. That's part of the difficult thing about being like an unknown IP making a comic for the first time is is to do well. You kind of have to have a lot of people pre-order it so that bookstores actually get copies of it so that it's, people see it in a store and can buy it. It's a really strange system, but that's the way it works. That's how it goes. Uh, yeah. So, so that's it. If you pre-order it, it's massively helpful to us. And you can do so through the website we made for it. Um, and from places like uh, I think Blackwell's have it Amazon has it yeah so it's going to be 120 pages of story yeah any anything that says the dates are 2021 they're out of date information um, the book is releasing next year yeah we wanted to miss the Christmas market because that's when all the big IPs roll out their huge Oh no! Firebombs at them! Firebombs! Crush them! Crush them! <laughs> yeah! If it nice to actually have it affect the cats at some point. I mean, I just set up the bombs. <laughs> hey, thank you for the raid! Welcome in, Thor. Thanks so much. Uh, we're probably about to, to close out now, because I have to go and get get stuff oh my gosh so much stuff ah where even am i i've been blasted out of existence i don't i don't even know where you've gone see this is this is the trouble of making the bombers too powerful no i love them <laughs> i'm back now my chair whoa <laughs> did you see that <laughs> I didn't. my chair just rose from like below that was awesome is there a best site to order from? No, I think there's only best site for you. Like, I tried to make sure that on the Girl in the Glim website, there's alternatives to Amazon, because I know a lot of people don't want to support Amazon because of the way they treat their workers. But also, Amazon is probably the most convenient place for a lot of people. So, the Amazon link is provided there, as well as the Blackwell one. But they're all equally good, probably, to pre-order from. Um, Amazon.com says it's out of stock. It's not out of stock. It's just the site glitching. Um, but it's 
in stock on amazon.co.uk. I like I like I like holding on to the Jaffa case and getting like exploded. I'm going to make the bombs grabbable and throwable. That's my next task. Oh, so Fox says, hey, before you go, quick question. You're thinking of turning one of your short stories into an animation, spending your own money to make it happen. Any advice on how to get started? Okay, so probably my best advice is to keep it short because animation's really, really expensive and laborious to make. So it's going to cost you a lot of money to make something which is like... It's going to cost you a lot of money anyway, but it's going to cost you a lot if you make something like, say, over 30 seconds or over 20 seconds. Yeah. That's going to be a huge amount of money um, because it frequently takes animators, depending on the quality you want. If you want just good quality animation, it can take um, can take animators, like say one animator was working on it. It could take them three months or something to make 10 to 20 seconds. And they're going to need to be paid at least 3,000 euros a month to kind of survive and live. So that's already like pretty much rounding up to 10,000 for about 10 to 20 seconds. And if you want more people than that, if you want someone who's working on compositing or someone who's helping them with cleanup, you know, um, someone who's producing it, someone who's doing backgrounds, each of those people are also going to be need to pay like proper wages for their work per month so it really quickly stacks up to a lot of money um if you want to do it yourself then you can totally do that and just do it in your free time and kind of take take that loss under your belt as it were to make it i think if you want to self-fund like self-fund making something it's good to approach um well, you know what? I would I would advise maybe getting in contact with Studio Mala, Studio which is Mala are great. which is an Irish based um, animation production company, and they've been making some really stellar stuff. But what you gain from that is they've got experience in like how much it would cost to make what you're wanting. They can give you an estimate of that, and they've also they they work with a great team. Um, now, like. I don't know what their availabilities are at the moment, but... They are a great um, little boutique studio. I think the thing you run the risk of is if you've not worked with animators before and you, you're you not sure, like, how, how to work with them and stuff, um, it's probably good to work with someone who has an established team like that, that they, they've worked together and they know how to bounce creatively off one another and then just check whether they make the kind of thing that you're looking for for your, for your thing. Mal is really... Um, really flexible though they've worked on a whole range of stuff yeah and um, especially if you just email them broaching the question of like how much do you think something like this would cost yeah because i'm not sure then i'm sure they'd be happy to help you uh steven who sorts out all that kind of stuff on their end is really good but yeah if you want to employ someone to make an animation it's going to be probably pretty expensive and i'd advise not trying to find someone very very cheap to do it um, because you'll probably either end up with bad quality work or you'll end up with someone who's like very dissatisfied by the amount you're offering to pay them. And you don't want to end up getting called out on one of those sites where they're like, this person offered me this. Yeah, you, the, a big thing is understanding the, how much time it is to make um, certain levels of, of, of animation. Like if you, want it, if you want to make something that people are going to watch and then be like, this is cool. Like you have to hit a certain threshold of, you have to hit a, a bar of quality, I think. Yeah, maybe a good estimate is like yeah. maybe five seconds a week. Yeah. And then just think about someone working on that full time. And then that five seconds a week doesn't necessarily include cleanup or color or backgrounds or compositing. So think about those as well. Yeah. As and well as, of course, editing. Another reason I would suggest approaching someone like Studio Mala um, is that they can handle a lot of the logistics side of of you know um, setting out the time scales, setting out like production management, that sort of thing. Because if you if you, if you are funding this and you are, are arranging the team yourself, there's a lot of unexpected overheads in like just communicating what you need to to the animators. Whereas if you can have a kind of 
if you can get and be like, this is what I'm looking for, you can be interpreted in a, in a good way by, you know, like a, a team light leader. Or like, yeah, like, like, do you want to direct it? Um, or do you want an animation director to work with you where they can coordinate the team and deliver what you want? Yeah. You know, because it's the difference between you talking to eight or nine different people trying to tell them what you want. Um, or someone who's like practiced in communicating to an animation team, relaying that information for you and you just talking to one person. Yeah. And then trusting them to like get your vision delivered. And that doesn't mean that you'll be cut off from the team either. Like you could probably like chat to everyone as well and be involved. It just takes a little bit of the pressure off. Yeah. In nights, we often invite the clients into the chat rooms where we talk about the projects just so they can always keep on top of what's going on and what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how Mala works, but they're great. They're just really good beans. Um, so they'll be able to help you even if you don't want to necessarily work with them specifically. Um, I keep mentioning Mala because we know them personally and we know the team the, the people that they work with we know they're good people yeah we know them and they've like they've offered to work with us before and they've always like made really nice offers um i've been really respectful to all their workers so i think like i think they're great um if you if you do have any other more questions so fox do do reach out um i think you can either contact us through you know um patreon messaging or uh if you want to grab us on discord you're more than welcome to yeah you can you can talk to us um off stream if you like do you have us on discord <laughs> if, if you don't let us know and we'll just send you our discord details and we can yeah and we can talk can to it in, in more um, more depth uh but for now yo camping logs Thanks for thanks for the follow. Thank it's so like much. trying to talk to the camera while <laughs> yeah. everything's floating the in the way. The like, get out of here, me. table. Get out of here, table. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I think Doug was gonna work on a thing where the table splits into like three or four pieces. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> Is that more satisfying? A reaction to being bombed. Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. So. Cool. All right, we gotta go. We Who gotta we go. <laughs> Sorry, I just pressed the button that made me like teleport to the other place. I just thought it was really funny. Like we gotta go, and I was like, <laughs> I can't get back without resetting. So I'll just I'll just look for someone to to, to raid. Sorry, I'm laughing because uh, there's someone on our recommended who who they're learning skin tones, but they've got reference of someone, and it's it's just a dude, but he's got like black tape over his nipples. It just made me laugh, and so he should. If 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 women aren't allowed to show theirs, men shouldn't be allowed to show theirs either, and everything between nipples banned off Twitch. Everything should be censored all the time. Yep. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yo, Johnny the Homicidal, uh, Jonah Vasquez is, is streaming. Uh, I don't I don't know what their streams are like. It looks Me like they're either. playing. You just choose oh, someone. No, I'm looking. Just choose it faster. I'm I'm looking. Jeez. I'm looking. Uh Grailer is always pretty cool. Yeah, let's go Grailer. I think I think Yeah, when I see nips I cry. Okay, okay, they've they've got their cat in front of the camera, so let's raid Grailer. God help it, I'm sensitive. I need everything <laughs> censored for me all the time. I go to the beach and I'm just crying all the time. I'm like, the nipples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh um raid. Raid okay, raiding Grailer. We're good. Start raid. Um, thank you everyone for coming by today and thank you for all the raids. Thank you for all the, the support and the, the, the fun times. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with more uh, insightful commentary and artwork. Oh yeah, that's what you can count on us for. Insightful yeah. commentary. 
Until next time. May the rest of your day be filled with adventure. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.